reason why God want us to experience certain things in life is because God don't want us to live a whole life of sin and expect that we go into heaven when we die. The scripture says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And the reason why, children of God, a message like this is so important in the time in which we live is because we are living at a time that everything goes. There is no absolute truth based on the world's and definition of truth. And what is important to understand that God has not changed. The Lord said without holiness no man shall see the Lord. So if God is saying without holiness, no man shall see the Lord, then it's necessary in this life for every one of us to live a life that is pleasing to God. And what happens at times that the Lord will permit or God will allow our faith in him to come under fire. And the Lord is saying, to you and me, when our faith in God comes on the fire, stay in the fire. In other words, don't get out the fire because God permitted the fiery trials to come. The reason why Satan is angry with anybody that want to live right. I said Satan is upset with anybody that want to do what God said do. When you make your decision to do what is right, you take in a position against wrong. When you make up in your mind, I want to please God, you are saying to Satan, I don't want to please you. I've been pleasing you all of my life. But now I am in Christ. I want to please him. Does anybody in here want to please God? Somebody shout, Lord, I want to please you. And if you want to please God, there is a price to pay. There's a price to pay in order to please God. I can't finish this today. I feel too much word inside of me right now. And some of us in here, you've been doing well in life. And you've had hit a couple of bumps in the road. And you feel that God is not pleased with you and and I come to serve notice that God is not angry with you this morning. What God wants you to do is understand how to process what you're going through. The word of God says, for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are, that are called according to his purpose. I want you to know that God has purpose in your life. God chose you not to be a failure. God chose you to be an overcomer. How do you know that? Because he said in his word, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. In other words, there is going to be times when you don't understand what God is doing. But that's not the time to quit. And say that I can't make it any longer. I can't handle this. I come to tell you this morning. Praise the name of our God. That God has purpose in your life. And in order to accomplish that purpose. There are going to be times. When you're going to experience life in the raw. Sometimes the bottom seems to be fall out. And sometimes there will be situations and circumstances that you don't have an answer for but I come to serve notice this morning that that's not the time to throw in the towel because the scripture says he who begun a good work in you he shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ life is really not about you life is about the God that's in you and what God want you to understand that he want the best for you. The world want you to believe that everything is easy. But not 
with God. You see, with God, God lets you know that the battle is not yours, but the battle is the Lord. So we have to know when to back up, take our hands off a situation, and give it to God. Why? Because God can work it out. Is anybody in here know what I'm talking about this morning? God knows how to work things out. This is why it is important for us to arm ourselves with the mind of Christ. In other words, as Paul wrote to the, the Philippians, he said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. You know why? It's because the devil plays with our minds sometimes. The devil will try to make you think something is real when it's not real. The devil will try to make you think that everybody's against you and you cannot succeed. But where does God go when your faith is on the fire? The scripture says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. In other words, when your faith comes on the fire, stay in the fire. Would you help me preach this morning? Tell your neighbor when your faith comes on the fire, stay in the fire. In other words, don't 